The idea to do music for this particular graphic novel already came to me in 1999, so it's been more or less 14 years in the making already. Um, it just might be my favorite fictional story of all times. And whenever I read this beautiful story, um, my head is filled with music every single time. So at some point I just had, had the idea that uh, it would be cool to do a sort of soundtrack or a book, sort of uh, let that music come out, which I hear when I read these stories. That was the original idea and then finally a couple of years ago I had the means, the time and the money to fulfill this dream. Interesting stuff here. Just to explain a little bit about this, Thomas long had a dream to do, to set to music his favourite Disney comic book, which is The Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck. I don't know if any of you, <laughs> if any of you have ever uh, have not read it, read it, because it's got some great philosophical stories about life and um, morals and all the rest of it. It's a fantastic book. Um, so this project is, is not Nightwish. It has nothing to do with Nightwish at all. This is Thomas's solo project um, and it's music based on um, the life and times of Scrooge McDuck. Okay, and uh, you just enjoy it. We get there as always. Please Thank you so it. much for coming, everybody. Thank you. Oh. Enjoy. Thank you. And uh, can I just add that what is lovely is that for his solo project, he chose to come to the UK and do it again. Yeah. It has a lot of similar elements to, to what we do in Nightwish. For example, uh, the orchestral arranger, Pip Williams, called me after he had heard the demo of all the songs, said that uh, this is something completely different than what you have done before, but uh, I recognize the songwriter immediately. So there's something quintessential about my songwriting that uh, that's not attached to a genre. And I take that as a compliment. And at this point I also want to stress that I have absolutely no ambitions of going solo in my career. Um, I've always been able to fulfill all of those musical ambitions um, with Nightwish because we are not really bound into any genre. No, we can do metal, ballads, everything. Um, but this project just felt so personal and you know, so minimal in a way. I mean, we cannot do a Scrooge McDuck album with Nightwish, it just didn't feel right. So probably for this once, um, I had to go solo, so to say. label Nuclear Blast told me that they would actually need a single release from this album and a music video to go with it and that was quite a challenge because this is not a so-called commercial album in the least it's a soundtrack but then we had one song called A Lifetime of Adventure which has this kind of structure it has a chorus and it has vocals so we decided to do that and uh, do a music video to go with it. And then it was Mr. Ville Lipian who came with the idea that uh, let's do a sort of like making of video because you know you just don't want to dress up some guy like Scrooge McDuck and go into the moors and play and shoot that. You don't want to go the corny way. So he had this idea about doing this making of uh, shooting all the stages of the recordings, the orchestra, the vocals, me playing the pianos, uh, Don sketching the cover artwork and all that. And uh, yeah, Don agreed to fly over to Finland spend a couple of days with us at the Petrax studios and, you know, we filmed the video there and 
the result is just magnificent.